Take it away, Mr. Koala Man. Hey folks, James here from Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery. For someone that works at an embroidery company, I actually haven't been able to make anything myself in the last two years, but I want that to change. If you are new to Sweet Pea, I made a short vlog series two years ago where I taught myself how to do machine embroidery and I had so much fun. But since those videos, my role at the business has changed and I haven't been able to make anything until today. In this short vlog series, I'm going to get back into the sewing room and relearn how to do machine embroidery. And I can't wait. The first project I want to embark on is a free design from our website, sweepy.com, called the Aussie Koala Mug Rug. I've chosen this design so that any viewers at home new to machine embroidery can jump straight onto our website, sweepy.com, and give one of our free designs a go. I will put the link for our website in the description below. And the other reason for choosing the Aussie Koala mug rug is because it looks so damn awesome. And being a simple mug rug, I thought it would be the perfect way to get back into the swing of doing machine embroidery. Just a quick note before we start, this video is for entertainment purposes only, and it's not a tutorial on the Aussie Koala mug rug. And if you do find this video entertaining, please share it around with your friends. And also, if you could give the video a like, and subscribe to the Sweet Pea Machine Embroidery Designs YouTube channel. Let's get started. So while I'm hooping up my work, I thought it would be a perfect time to tell you our new range of stabilizers are arriving this week and we are so excited for you to try them. We've been working so hard to bring you the highest quality product to enhance your machine embroidery projects. And as you can see here, we also do a lot of machine embroidery and we only wanted to bring out products that we can use every day while testing here at Sweepy HQ. You can shop our range of stabilizers at sweepy.com. That is S W P E A.com. Okay, back to the video. So I think I'm finally happy with my fabric selection. I've chosen three fabrics, three main fabrics here. And for my feature fabric, I've chosen this nice bright green fabric with a subtle floral pattern. Because it reminds me of the foliage that you might find a koala inhabiting in Australia. Then my two other fabrics are just a plain white and creamy one, which will be my main fabric A. So my koala applique and embroidery will stand out easily. And then for my koala applique, I've opted for this um, light grey. So 
So in the comments below, let me know if you like my fabric choices and also what colour fabrics you would make your Aussie koala mug rug. Thank you. So this is the day two check-in. I'm having so much fun so far uh, making my Aussie Koala mug rug. I wasn't able to get it finished in one day because I've been really busy at work. Yesterday, filming the review show with Jung and Naomi, which went really well. And if you want to check that out, you can jump onto our YouTube channel for that. So I only really got half a day to get started. And since not being in the sewing room for about two years, it took me a while to get back in the flow of getting my hoop ready, picking my fabrics, getting it all cut up, while also following the instructions. But I'm loving it. And so I've done this so far. So just um, got my koala applique and started on my embroidery. Still have to get the embroidery done here and here and get my borders and finish that off. So hopefully I'll be able to do that today. Um, I really hope that you're enjoying this video as much as I am making it. It's, it's really awesome to change things up and get back into the sewing room. And Sweepy has just such fun and amazing designs and I'm really, really enjoying it. So for the rest of the vlog, I'll be finishing off. Hopefully I can get this done before the weekend and get it all edited and put this video out for you to watch. So let's get into day two. I'm a machine embroidery addict.
So how do you think it's going, Mr. Koala? Oh, that's right. Is a stuffed. <laughs> so what do you think, Mr. Koala? I think we're going pretty well. So I'm up to my last step in the actual hoop, uh, which is putting the piece of fabric over the top of here, and then I'll be able to take it out, cut it, um, turn it out, and we'll have our finished mug rock. Let's get into it. Alright, so it's time to finally take it out of the hoop, trim, turn it through, and it'll be all finished. Here we have it folks, my almost finished Aussie Koala mug rug. All I'll have to do left now is hand stitch this little opening close. Isn't it looking amazing? But first, it needs an iron. Because it has been two years, honestly, I've forgotten how to hand stitch this clothes. Um, but Cassie's going to give me a hand today and that's perfect because I actually wanted her to do a video of explaining how to hand stitch your in the hoop um, designs together. So over to Cassie. Alright, so we're just going to use a normal thread. I just get a fair distance of it. So we know we're not going to run out. Right. I'm going to choose my needle, like a thin long needle, it's always good. And we're going to pass the thread through the hole. So now we're going to tie the two ends together by just doing two little knots right on top of each other make sure they're so that it won't pass through the um, the fabric so that's that and then we just cut the tail off All right so now we've got our thread ready we always start at the end and because we have our knot at the end of our thread that's going to stop it, the thread from coming all the way through. So put your needle just into the fabric and make sure it comes out on the other side of the opening. Right. So see how that's not going to go any further. And then I always turn around 
my piece and work from there. So I call it a box stitch. I'm not really sure what it's called, but this is just the technique I use to close the opening on our projects. So I always try and get the thread directly across from the one on the other side and pull it all the way through. And then we just continue that. So right across the other side. This will make it so that it's completely invisible. And the length I usually do is about a quarter inch so that you don't have a million little stitches to do. And if they didn't want to do this, they could also glue it closed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. What sort of glue works the best? I just use fabric glue. Fabric we glue. just get it from our local store. Nothing too special. And I always do it a little bit loosely all the way. And then when I get about an inch down and I've got all these, see how I've got them loose here. I don't know, I find it just is easier to line up your fabrics on either side. And then I just pull it tightly and then they're basically invisible. So this is great getting Cassie to show me. She's ended up just doing the whole thing. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> so we've done all of the opening and now we're just going to make sure we tie it off correctly. So I've finished here on one side of it. I'm going to come to the other side and pick up a few threads. And once I have a little loop at the end, I'm going to put my needle through the opening and pull it tightly so it creates a knot at the end. Once that's done, and so that we don't have a little tail, I'm just going to put the needle straight through the seam of this and push it out the back so that the tail will be out here. Pull it all the way through and you can trim it. And it's all done. Martin is currently away on holidays in New Zealand and I've gone ahead and used this space so I better give it a big clean up now before he gets back. There we go, looking brand new. Well, there we have it, folks. A finished Aussie koala mug rug. I had so much fun making this. I'm really glad I decided to jump back in the sewing room and make this vlog series for you. Um, what else can I say? Uh, I'd like to thank Mr. Koala for that epic dance routine that he did and if you enjoyed this type of video please like and subscribe so I know to make any more. Well there's not much more to say than thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.